Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> so I've been getting a lot of um, questions about the Scorpius recently. Since the Scorpius is coming out in 317, I decided to make a predictions video. I'm going to tell you what I think about the Scorpius, and we're going to find out if I was correct. Because I have a sneaky suspicion the Scorpius is going to be... <laughs> mm, it's going to be a little... It's going to be a little overpowered. <laughs> so, I wanted to kind of look at this brochure and uh, let's see if we can't find any common trends slash common... Uh, well, I guess you could say market... Would it be marketing strategies, you know? Or... Or who knows, right? So, uh, let's take a look, right? Let's take a look at this, uh, the Star Citizen version of the X-Wing. It says, the very definition of a game changer. Well, when they use words like that, one, one tends to think that the ship is very, very powerful. So, you know, what we have right now for heavy fighters, we have the Vanguard series, which again is extremely powerful. We have the Hurricane, which is the best two-seater ship in the game, no doubt about it. The only com competition to the Hurricane would be maybe like a double-seater Sentinel with the EMP, but we all know how I feel about that. <laughs> it says a lethal enforcer. See, here's the thing. Like the Scorpius, uh, one taste of that turret and the local gang's packed up. Oh, God. <laughs> Rail mounted remote. Well, what happens when the local gangs are using the ship? Hmm? <laughs> Didn't think of that. And also, what is with this obsession with CIG strapping turrets onto everything that's a fighter? Like, I'm, I'm being serious. Like, why does every fighter need to have a fucking articulating turret? I don't get it, you know? Um, like, if this is supposed to be the competition for the hurricane, you know, um, there's no question in my mind that this ship will be grossly grossly overpowered when it comes out because the way that the ship is designed if you look at the turrets it's it, the fact that it's got four size three guns which are much more powerful than two size four guns which is what the pilot for the hurricane has you have three size sorry four size threes on the turrets so you have eight size three guns shooting which means you're probably being a heavy fighter most likely going to have quite a lot of capacitor as well when it comes to it. So, you know, everything about this ship, everything about this ship to me screams like overpowered. Um, you know, it, it, its physical profile is obviously one of its downsides, like the Vanguard. But, like for God's sake, if you have a, uh, if you have, if it has two size two shields, like I don't, I don't even know what its hard points are. Is it have one or two size two shields? We'll have to find out. Hopefully, it's only got one. But I got a sneaky suspicion it'll probably have two. <laughs> it's just like, you know, um, yeah, same coverage as the Hurricane. Same coverage as the Hurricane. Um, built in the case of the Scorpius, you'd be thinking dead wrong. A turret on rails would be clunky. Yeah, well. Not when you give it 20 degree auto gimbal zone, CIG. I mean, how can you not have it be clunky then? Uh, convertible space frame. Yeah, again, right? The profile of the ship, you know, that's its only downside is its physical size. It's actually quite physically very large. It's about the same size as a Vanguard, which is what some people sometimes, I think, misunderstand is like, you know, uh, I know this is not the same ship, but the X-Wing is literally one fourth of its size. Like an X-Wing wingtip to wingtip could fit on the inside here where these engines are. So like the X-Wing would be here on its tip and then here on its tip. It could fit nice and inside the size of a Scorpius. Scorpius is grossly, grossly large. Uh, but again, it's a heavy fighter in Star Citizen. So, you know, what, what can you do here, right? Okay, here we go. Here's the proposed shield generator, two times small shields. Okay, so we, we have two size one shields, which thank God, thank God. One size one, quantum drive, jump drive, life support. That hasn't been put in the game yet. Again, right? So here's my here's my my prediction. Uh, I think the Scorpius is gonna have 
a little bit more maneuverability than the Vanguard. I think we're going to be sitting with the Scorpius at around 14 Gs on its main acceleration. I think she's going to have pretty good acceleration on her side thrust, probably maybe anywhere from like 8 to 10 Gs. Her retro thrust, reverse thrust, probably sitting around 4 to 5. You can quote me on these numbers, guys, because this is my prediction, right? I think overall her DPS, like when we get our guns, like I feel like the Scorpius, as assuming the weapon balance and stuff stays relatively similar to what we have now, um, you're probably looking at 50 to 40 to 45 to 50 rounds uh, in a burst, like in a charge. So you have pilot guns with 45 to 50 rounds in a, in a full charge. And then obviously about 100 for the turret, right? So that's a lot of applied damage. Uh, and I think in terms of its jerk profile, it's going to be more precise than the, than the Vanguard. I think it's going to be more responsive because they, they literally bill it as a responsive, you know, flexible ship and all that stuff. So I think it's going to be more responsive and a better fighter in terms of its ability to negotiate a fight than the Vanguard. I think it's going to, it, ha it already has more DPS with two people, right? Uh, and even with one person, I mean, you're still, you know, laughing all the way to the bank, right? In terms of DPS. The only way I can see them getting this ship, because like we were sold the hurricane as the glass cannon, you know, this ship that, uh, you know, it's small, it's fast, it's it's used by highly experienced pilots, um, you know, but it, it can't really take a hit. Well, CIG has made the Scorpius, and it literally has become the new Hurricane, in the sense that it has two small size one shields, assuming, unless they change it when it comes out, which is possible. You know, it's got more DPS now than the Hurricane, uh, but slightly less tank ability, and also it's physically very large. But again, right, like, if your ship is, like, if it's got the maneuverability profile it's looking for, I mean, nothing is going to survive being in front of a Scorpius. So this idea that CIG has with the Scorpius, like, I don't see this thing, I don't see this thing being anything but crazy overpowered, especially with the turrets being 20 degree auto gimbal zone. I mean, how do you... Like the Hurricane already is, uh, like, the best ship in the game because when you put a gunner in the Hurricane, like, it's it's just insane. But the Scorpius seems like it'll be good just on its own. Um, so, you know, my, my, my gut tells me the ship is going to be crazy. I think its turn rate's going to be anywhere from from high 30s to, or to like, mid 40s. Like a 38, 39, or a, or, a, or a 42, or a 43 for its turn rate. So again, you can quote me on those numbers, right? Because this is my prediction. So 14 G's acceleration on the main thrusters, probably anywhere from 35 to 45, anywhere in there for turn rate. Probably going to have a lot of forward-facing DPS. Probably going to have its two size one shields, which it does have. Either that or it'll have a single size two, um, which I feel like is probably more likely um, when it actually comes out. And then they might drop it down to two size ones after the initial couple weeks of the ship being out because we all know that happens um and probably it's going to be the biggest kid on the block i mean everyone's going to want one everyone's going to want to buy one it's probably going to be a very widely sold ship i mean it looks okay it's a de it's a decent looking ship not gonna lie but you know it, like a lot of things when the new ship comes out right new ship comes out you know cig has been following this trend and i'll call them out for this stuff CIG has been following a trend where a new, when a new combat ship comes out, it's usually um, the top dog. You know, it's it's usually the top dog. It's usually so good. Um, you know, I mean, the, when the Ion first came out, there was no difference. The ship absolutely slapped. Um, you know, and that can also lead to a lot of drama because people get used to the ship being effective or being at a certain level, and then all of a sudden it gets pulled back to where it kind of should be, and people get upset, right? So, um you know, maybe if CIG hopefully has learned from these lessons, they've learned like, okay, let's not release a ship being wildly crazy overpowered. Let's uh, let's kind of talk to our more active pilots to say like, okay, where do we kind of want to ballpark it? If you're asking me, CIG, I would say you want to sit this thing at around relatively the same maneuverability profile that you have um, the Hurricane set to. Right? Um, have it to the same as the Hurricane, maybe slightly more because, you know, it is a physically larger ship, so you want to give it some negotiation, right? But I don't agree with this ship design. You know, I really don't. Um, they need to do something with turrets so that they become more skill-based, because having the 20-degree auto gimbal zone is just absolutely ridiculous. 
and there should be a way that we can force our turret forward so that the pilot can fire all eight guns. I don't see why um, we need to have to have two people. Um, you know, I would much rather see um, see some slave gambling going on here, right? So, because uh, I'd rather have two pilots in Scorpius, or sorry, I'd rather have I'd rather have two Scorpius pilots than one Scorpius pilot with two with two people, right? Um, you know, because it's just more effective on the battlefield. And if they want to promote multi crew and stuff, well, you don't. In my opinion, like doing it in a fighter, you know, I'd like. I'd like them to keep the multi-crew fighter stuff down and get multi-crew more of a bigger ship thing, right? To me, that I think would probably be healthier for the game. That's just, that's just my opinion, though, right? I mean, it's nice to have some dual-seater fighters, right? But, you know, we've already got the Gladiator, which is dual-seater. And again, there's functionality coming up for the torpedo ships later, which kind of makes sense, right? Um, so dual-seater for that, sure. But I don't see why you couldn't do that with a single person. Um, you know, so... Here you have it, guys. There's my prediction on the Scorpius. I think it's going to be grossly overpowered. I think it's going to be, like I said, those numbers. It's going to be sitting around those numbers. And uh, I think for the first couple weeks, um, you know, it's going to be like a better Vanguard. That's really what it comes down to. It's going to be a better Vanguard. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> we'll see what the Star Citizen X-Wing can get up to. So... Uh, if you're in the market for a Scorpius, guys, I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun flying it when it first comes out, so enjoy it. But, um, yeah, that's my predictions, guys. My thoughts on it. I think it's a cool ship. I think it's uh, got some potential. But ultimately, I think it will be overpowered when it comes out, and it'll be balanced. Um, and probably... I just, I don't see why I would want to pick this fighter over other fighters, you know? Um... Because if I'm running a carrier-based platform, you know, I'm going to be able to have multiple fighters, you know, whereas with the heavy fighter stuff, you know, I, I get, you know, I guess it's nice that they don't require to have an Idris and stuff, but um, effectiveness on the battlefield, I think um, something like a carrier platform with lots of light fighters and medium fighters, uh, I think will ultimately be more effective than, than having a... Uh, heavy fighters that don't require that extra logistical support, but do sacrifice... A little bit of uh, obviously being a physically large profile and also not having the same kind of effectiveness and negotiation in a battle so we'll see yep i think she's gonna be op though she's gonna be crazy so uh tell me what you guys think leave something in the comments tell me what you guys think if you're excited for the scorpius if you're not so excited for it who knows man it might be dog shit when it comes out or it might be what my gut says probably like a better vanguard and uh so We'll see you guys. Take a look at predator mounts, guys, if you're interested in getting dual sticks for your, uh, uh, sorry, a mounting system for your dual sticks. And also, um, thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. I hope to see you guys out for the next stream and the next YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time. How was Avenger 1? And I'll see you next time.